Hey friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. So pumped to have you here today. Today, we're looking back at these guys, these LED American Idol style boxes that I built with you guys last week here on the channel. And I want to go ahead today and map these into both Elm and Onyx with the Dialos Pixel Mapper. And the reason why I want to map these guys in two programs is, hey, to show you how to map some pixels, and B, just to show you a, a bit of a comparison between the two um, as to how they work, their workflow, etc. Now, when you get to the end, I'm gonna spoil our alert here. Um, Elm's kind of the winner for this one because we are working with a pixel tape type product and Elm is just built from the ground up to do that well. But Onyx is great too. If you need to pixel map and you're also working with moving lights and other random LED lights and stuff like that, um, the Onyx interacts with those better than Elm does. But regardless, I want you to see how in two different programs we can map these same lights, get some great control, and have fun. Let's dive in. To begin mapping, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, you can see me on the camera here, but more importantly we can see the boxes, is I'm going to turn them off. Um, so going to have them turned on to receive input. And then um, I'm going to first use Entex LED Mapper, their Elm software, to map these things in and show you some cool patterns on them. Now, uh, the reason I want to do this is I'm just going to create a new stage here. We're going to call it um, Idle Boxes. And so now we can start to add some LED strips. Um, Elm is just such a great program. And so the very first thing I need to do is pause and count all my LEDs. Now, because I went with meters and I used meters to build this, um, that makes this easier. I mean, literally, it's the, the larger boxes are 10 pixels tall. They are 5 pixels wide um, because on this particular tape, the pixels are 3 LEDs each. Um, so there's 10 pixels per meter. And then the smaller boxes are five and two. So we're just going to go in here to Elm. And I really like Elm because it's so easy to get started. It's just, oh man, so easy. So we'll add our strips in. And we want to go ahead and choose a square. It's hip to be a square. Technically a rectangle, but that's okay. We'll do one strip. And then the total number of LEDs is going to be, let's see, 10, 20, 30 for the bigger boxes. They're RGB. They are squares. Now the wiring, we need to set the wiring order, which I believe we can do afterwards because it's a square. And then we're going to do SACN. Let's see. And we're going to start at universe 100. That's just how I have this particular pixel controller set up. Add our first box. Awesome. And so then in Elm, we've got a variety of tools we can use. We can literally just skew it however we need. Um, one thing that, that you can do, and I probably would um, in a real show, is you can take a picture and actually bring it in as the background here, which can be really helpful. Um, you can do that in Manage here. No, it's under, uh, under Stage. You can do a background, bring in a photo, and, and line everything up exactly. But for this, I'm just going to go back to my strips. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate that. So I can move the duplicate. No, I didn't want to do that, actually. Let me delete that. I want to do these in order, simply because that then allows me to uh, have the addressing be, be right. And so we'll then go ahead and add... This time, it's a 5 by 2 box, so that's uh, 7, so it's basically 14 pixels. Again, it is a square. Start address is going to be at 91, because that's where this previous one ends. And then we can add that, we can scale it way down. We'll make it perfect in a few. That's one of the beautiful, beautiful things about Elm. Is mapping is so easy. And then we'll literally just grab... Can we grab both of them and duplicate? We can. Move that over. And change the addresses. So then... 
Let's get a 90 and 132. The, uh, you can see here we get the start and end addresses, which is super helpful because then if I just go into edit here, I can go, okay, this one would start at 133. So it's 102. Oh, so this one started at 1021, but it really starts at 101, 133. And then we can go ahead and do the same. Edit 101 and then uh, 223. And so now we should be able to see if we go to the testing tab, we can turn on a test pattern. And the first thing we can see is colors, okay? Are the colors right? Well, the colors are not right. So if I go red, green, blue, I see that these strips look like they're coming in at uh, green, then blue, then red, green, blue, red. So let me go ahead and actually fix that in my pixel controller itself and I'll be right back. All right, so I got that settled. I also see here that I have an addressing issue because I forgot to change some of these universes. So this one's literally universe 100. This one's down at universe 100, 133. This one's literally at universe 100 as well, 223. So now we should be able to turn that test pattern on. Red, green, blue, awesome. Then we can do the uh, stripies, which really help us a lot. We'll see how bad our mapping is. Um, this would be the, the actual sizing that's gonna be off. I should be able to make this work. We're gonna find out here. So we can move this across. All in all, not perfect, but not bad. Let's check out our uh, vertical. We can turn it to rainbow for fun. So I can see the sizing is, is off on these um, tall ones a little bit. Cool, and then we'll size this other one about the same. Again, we're not doing rocket surgery here, but I do want it to look nice. Again, the downsides of the particular LEDs I got is that that doesn't work well. And so then all we got to do now in Elm, this is super simple, is turn off testing, go to live, and they pre-populate a bunch of media in, but you can bring in more if you'd like. <clears throat> and we're able to select between our different media here and uh, play it on our lights. And so, oh, testing mode is still on. I'm like, why is it not working? Whoop, there we go. And so we can see how that works on our lights now. We can start to see some really cool looks. Let's go find something multicolored. If I go to my media, go ahead and pull something in. Go ahead and effects. Mm -mm. Yeah, like this one is absurd. Back to live. And we can really see what's going on here. So let, maybe we slow it down a little. If we do select this media or this uh, deal here, we can change some different things. See, that made it much darker. I like that. Woo, it's a rainbow. But we can color it any color we want. So now let's hop over uh, to Onyx and see how different mapping looks there. Now I'm gonna take note before I, I go here of my patch because that will, will definitely speed things up here. All right, so to map these guys into Onyx, I've gone ahead, still got them on behind me, but I've patched them in at uh, Universe uh, 101 Address 1, so this should match up exactly with how they are in the Pixel Controller. Then I've got to go ahead and uh, turn on my SACN and put it on my regular network. And I'm just going to send Universe 101 because that's all I need right now. 
press apply. Should be good to go at that point. But of course, we're not getting anything. <laughs> ah, the fun of live TV. Oh, universe 100, not 101. Excuse me. Go back and fix that. Boom. Right universe always works better. Then we went ahead. <laughs> Turn them on. We see they work. Awesome. So now we got to draw these in. And in Onyx, if we're going to pixel map, we're going to do that through Dialos, which is in the 2D plane. So I've got Dialos here. I've got all my, my media in here. So I think I've got that all built in here. Um, and so we need to build our 2D plan out first. Let's go ahead to edit mode. Uh, we're going to find our fixtures. So first I need uh, the first 10, basically. Then I'll bring in the next five, then the next 10, then the next five, and I'll build a box. And then I'll rinse and repeat. All right, so now we got that mapped. We can hop out of edit mode. Actually, we'll go ahead and add a dialogue zone first. Do, 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 do. All right, so now we will go ahead and place that zone fixture. Whoop. Just go around those boxes. Awesome, doesn't have to be perfect. Out of edit mode, now we can go here to the lovely Dialos. Turn on my zone, and start to have some fun. So let's give some color actually, color video. This one should look cool. Now we'll turn the lights on. So it was uh, one through 144. Highlight is definitely on. We'll turn that off. And now we're mapping. Boom, obviously that's just webcam video, so it's not the best looking thing ever, but let's go see if we bring these down. Yeah, that makes it a lot more clear for you. We can see the cool pixel mapping on these guys, and now we can start to have some fun. Now, a lot of people are probably going to ask me, uh, you know, should I use Onyx, should I use Elm, et cetera, et cetera, especially after something like this. Um, and truth be told, you know, the answer is not super clear. Um, it really depends on what you need. Elm is fast to get set up, sure. Um, we noticed that, that uh, you can go you know, super fast with it and uh, really, you know, build things super quick. Um, but if you're using an Onyx workflow already, Dialos is a really great choice too. Maybe I should do a video in the future, in fact, that that goes into more of this because I think it's, it's not a simple question to answer, but it's one worth answering for sure. So if you like this, guys, be sure to subscribe, like this video, and check out the additional resources we have at Learn Stage Lighting Labs, including the full guide of how to build this project, lots of details in there, uh, and uh, how to use LEDs to, to make cool stuff like this. Awesome. We will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.